Hello Cancer, thank, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the Journey Home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Tarot Zodiac forecast for the week ahead or whenever you clicked on the channel at the time that it intrigued you. I go live every Wednesdays and Sunday nights to pull free cards for you if you'd like some free card readings for yourself. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now's a good time to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and the notification bell so that you are notified when we go live. We're starting with your message from your shaman deck. Uh, this is from your ancestors, guides, guardians, angels, shamans. We have soul retrieval. This is about becoming whole once again. We lose a piece of our souls every time we have a failed relationship, whether it's a lover or a friend or family. You've had um, you've had a, a stern road here, but you walked it with confidence. The staff is here to to like a discipline to keep you on your path, but at the same time, there for you to lean on when you need support. You have become whole through this journey of yours, and it's the end of this journey. It's about stepping outside the circle and looking back at all you've learned and how much different you are now than you were even a year ago. And finally, the sun, this new cycle. Get out in the sun more, Cancer, and let your light shine for others to see. Our top row for the cards that came out is all earth energy. Queen of Autumn, Prince of Autumn, and Seven of Autumn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is about um, with the Queen of Autumn. Uh, it could be someone that you're dealing with um, in, as Earth energy. This is about being generous, stylish, practical, taking care of the home, the business, the bills, making sure everything's organized, the ability to make anything look beautiful, you're taking very uh, cautious but wise steps moving forward, paying attention to the detail, and at the same time being kind. Now this could be you or this person. The Seven of Autumn is about having patience a little longer because it's a big, a big harvest coming in for you. You made a prudent investment of either time or money. We have two of summer, Prince of Summer, and four of winter. <clears throat> For some of you, you're falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. This person maybe feel like you swept them off their feet or they swept you off their feet. You may feel the need to stay grounded during a very emotional union with this person. But I see you being withdrawn. It could be like you're just so wowed over this person that you withdrew. Um, trying to take careful, cautious steps. But it looks like you're falling in love here. You're trying to put up healthy boundaries. Maybe trying to protect your heart. Protecting the fruits of your labor. But this is wish fulfillment for you, Cancer. But you're conflicted inside about it. feeling at odds with yourself or maybe with others could be there's some overly ambitious people in your life and you're having to deal with them to protect this love that's developing we have messenger of water an offer of love coming in someone who loves you dearly Is this quite an emotional or spiritual connection you have with this person? Transformation. Oh, you're going through the change. It could have been an ending with, with something, and now you're going through this transformation, or you have, this is something that ended in the past, and you have transformed from it. This is about becoming whole again. High Priestess. We've got... Pisces energy back to back. Uh, intuitively, you're moving forward very cautiously, very carefully. 
patience. You're needing patience to develop this relationship. King of Earth, it could be that you are focused on the money, or maybe they are. Maybe this person is focused on their money. You're focused on the money. This could be a boss wanting to make a stable offer in a committed relationship. This is a return of the past or looking back on the past, feeling nostalgic, maybe remembering things a little in a better or worse light than they actually were even. Try to stay grounded here, Cancer, if this is going on. Try to stay grounded. The star card. You withdrawn, however. A portal is opening for you. It's that sun that showed up here. This portal that's opening for you after reflection of the cycle you've just been through. This is about hopes, dreams, wishes, healing, forgiveness. Yeah, you're very withdrawn. Have your guard up. Going through a, a spiritual healing here. Learning what are the healthy boundaries I need to set up. I want to birth something new. You're ready to birth something new. And you have wish fulfillment coming in with this empress. Five of spring. Hierophant Taurian energy. You could be at odds with a Taurus. You could be breaking or feeling at odds but maybe uh, time to end a contract or the ending of a contract a karmic contract with someone that you were committed to or this is about wanting to make a commitment to someone that others don't approve of mm -mm, cancer let's ask the angels about your love life and the advice for you. What's going on in love for cancer? And what is the advice? What's going on in love for cancer? And what is the advice? Oh, I love it when the cards fall to the floor and I have to look for them. What's the advice for cancer in love? What's the advice for cancer in love? Let's take those. Oi. Okay. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And this is a ro romance of a lifetime. That's why you feel connected and emotional. You're looking back on the past. Hmm. There's separation, new love, our children involved. It could be that this person or new love coming in, uh, you knew each other as children or uh, grew up together in past lives. But yes, you could have children or your partner in uh, that is significant to you may have children that affect your relationship express your love go ahead make the romantic gesture to this person make sure you're separated for first if you're involved or you know that's oh gosh oh that's for more than one of you cancers it's not the same story it could be a separation of someone that you love and it was true love. There was a hurtful experience, but uh, treating each other like this is new new love, a rebirth of that love. Though the Ace of Cups didn't show that up to confirm that it could be a rebirth of, of you know, if you guys just broke up with someone. I hope that helped. Let me know, Cancer, if that resonated for you at all. Grab the vibe, hit the like. Subscribe if you haven't for free card readings on Wednesdays and Sunday nights at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. God bless you. Everything you need to know about the channel and website is in the description below, Cancer. We'll talk to you again soon, I hope. Bye for now.